Truckers XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to the next time. We saw Persona 5 in the previous episode. We escape that Shujin Academy castle as we discover our new powers with Persona. Today's episode, we should further investigate our school because this is the lunchtime area right now and... Options? No, triangle. And turns out I cannot even save the game, so I have no other choice but to do that. So I'm limited time as I'm supposed to get ready to work. But this should be uploaded the next day on, on the 5th. If you're after this episode, make sure to hit that like button. Sports really appreciate it because we're trying to find a way how to save the game. As what do we have? That's nothing but red. Alrighty then. As we're trying to find a way to save the game, and then we're gonna jump kind of to the next next part next time I try to record. But for now. Sakuna was late again. Maybe he'll get expelled soon. I can't believe he's still behaving like this after what he did in track team. And he's still not expelled because Mr. Kamoshida is covering for him, right? Mr. Kamoshida is too nice for for bending a punk for not bending a punk like that. I wanna hear everyone's stuff. That guy was just telling us where to go. I'll come back here and buy something when I have the time. I just wanna I wanna see the gusts up right now. I wanna hear the There are flyers posted here on this board. Most of them seem to be related to the volleyball team. Why the volleyball team? Mm -hmm. Come on. Did you know Senpai? Some crazy second year student is transferring to our school. Yeah, I heard about it. All the second years are talking about it. Apparently he's such a problem student that no other schools will take him. Why does he have to come here? I hope he doesn't try it with the volleyball team. It's fine, Mr. Kamashita is on our side. The transfer student won't do anything to us. So everyone's on Kamashiro. He's some good teacher here and there. I presume. This is the first floor. I can go up here if I want to. Second floor. Second floor for the faculty office. Oh, right. This is the thing I do not recall where exactly I need to go. Okay, let's just hear for some more gossip while we're at it. They really allow criminals into the school. I don't want to be in school with someone like that. Is he still a criminal? If he's underage, I guess all that matters, blah blah. I guess they're talking about us. Screw you then. Um, what's down here? I heard he's got arrested for assault. He's an actual criminal. Alrighty then. Well, as we're trying to find a way around this building, I guess... That's a classroom. Emergency exit. Man, look at all this gossip around. Let's go through here. Second floor of the building. Let's go to the other side then. Let's see. No, wait. This shows the freak. We came through there. We can't go out there. So it has to be up there. Well, we have to find something that looks like a faculty office, a classroom. Second floor seems to have all across. I better head to the faculty office for now. Is this the office? No. Yo, I'm going in blind. I'm just making random guesses right now. What happens if I go up? Nope. So I go down here. This is where we all started. The bread shop. That's why there's only one place. Am I supposed to Yeah, let's just talk to him. <laughs> you like counseling ca causing for trouble for the school? <laughs> Can't even get an excuse. Do you even want to be reformed? I bet this is a good sign of what you'll be like here. Oh, this is what I get. Mm -hmm. Oh, time to I guess we failed. Mm -hmm. We failed. It was like right in front of us. We failed. That's the principal's mm -hmm. office. Faculty office. There you go. We spent like four minutes trying to find it. Oh, unbelievable. 
being over half a day late on your first day? Can you explain yourself? How could you have been lost for this long? It's almost lunchtime. Well, it's probably true that you're not used to the area yet, but you're still way too late. Will you pull yourself together? You were given fair warning yesterday. More importantly, I heard that you were caught along with that Sakamoto kun. <sighs> Don't get involved with him, okay? He's nothing but trouble. He wasn't like that when he was devoting his time to track and field, though. Anyway, break's almost over. Classes will end after fifth period today because of the subway accident. I'll have you introduce yourself when class resumes. Follow me. By the way, when you introduce yourself, be serious about it even if you're lying to the class, okay? Do not say anything unnecessary. You think that's him? Huh? The one in the rumors? Being super late on his first day? He really is insane. He looks normal, though. But he might slug us if we look him in the eye. <sighs> Settle down. Well, I'd like to introduce a transfer student. Today we had him attend from the afternoon on since he wasn't feeling well. All right, please say something to the class. He seems quiet, but I bet when he loses it... I mean, he was arrested for assault, right? Uh, so... Your seat will be... Hmm. Over there, the one that's open. Sorry, but can the people nearby please share your textbooks with him for today? Ugh, this sucks. <sighs> Lies. Did you catch that? Do those two know each other? Ew, does that mean he hit on her before transferring here? That means she's cheating on him with Mr. Kamoshida. Wow, this is a breathtaking experience right now. Then again, this is Takamaki-san we're talking about. For real, that side of the room is totally awful. Oh, right. The volleyball rallies in two days. Everyone's just changed classes, so make sure you use that time to get to know each other. Well then, let's get class started. Who's on duty today? Everyone, please rise. What's wrong? Are you sure you're okay? Also, it seems like people are already talking about you, but I'm not the one who told them. I can't even catch a break. Why do I have to deal with this? You should head straight home without stopping by anywhere. Sakura-san sounded pretty angry. Oh, and about Sakamoto kun, don't get involved. Speak of the devil. What do you want? I heard the police caught you cutting classes today. <sighs> it was nothing. And you haven't dyed your hair back to black either. Sorry about that. I'll be waiting on the rooftop. 
see? That's why I don't want you getting involved. Understood? Why did you allow a student like him to transfer here? He's already started associating with Sakamoto. A student with a criminal record and the culprit of an assault case? At this rate, it'd be pointless how much I contribute to the school. Now, don't be like that. This school counts on you, Kamoshiro-kun. You are our star. Still, a steady build-up is necessary behind such brilliance as well. Your troubles never seem to end, do they, Principal Kobayakawa? All right, I understand. I'll continue to do my best to answer your expectations of me. Kamara seems ang eager to talk about something. I should meet him on the rooftop. I'll just add this. Oh, now we can do it. Why now? I should write something. Why now all of a sudden? We can now do this. That's my question. Yeah, I got time. Let's try to find some way to kill. Huh? Is there something you want from me? Where is the rooftop? But nobody's allowed up there. I mean, uh, just go up those upstairs and you get there. Let's see. What should I write about for the next paper? I wish there was a good topic out there. Maybe the transfer student? Well, what? You're talking about the one at the center of the rumors online? Alcohol, smoking, theft, violence, a teacher would never approve of such an article. Well, so much for helping you. Going up. Third floor. Here we have a second, second year senpai who's a criminal. Going up. This should be the place. Yeah, it's an off lift sign posted up, but it looks like the door is unlocked. Yo, we enemy now. There you are. Sorry for calling you up here like this. I bet Kawakami already told you stuff like don't get involved with him, huh? Pretty much in the same boat. I heard you got a criminal record. Everyone's talking about it. No wonder you were so gutsy. What was all that that happened? You know, how we almost got killed at a castle. It wasn't a dream, right? You remember it too, yeah? Well... Just because we both remember it doesn't mean much, though. I mean, even if it was a dream, you saved me from Kamoshida. So yeah, uh, thanks. But man, that Kamoshida we saw there. You probably don't know about it, but there are some rumors about him. You know, the guy you met at the school gates. The ripped one. That asshole who was all full of himself at the castle. No one says anything against him because he's some medalist who took the volleyball team to nationals. The way Kamashita was king of that castle felt crazy real because of that. I wonder if we can go back to that castle again. Ah, forget it. It must have all been a dream. It has to be. Sorry to drag you out here like this. That's all I had to say. You know, we might be pretty similar. I feel like we're gonna get along just fine as troublemakers. I'm Ryuji Sakamoto. I'll come talk if I see you around. Don't ignore me, alright? See ya. Live an honest student life, obediently return home. Oh, I wonder what. I guess I'll just head home for today. I wonder what Sojima, Sojima Sakura will say to us once we get back. Oh, we're ready, straight forward to home, oh, no, are we? Evening. Hey. 
I got an interesting call from your school today. It's only your first day and you're already showing up hours late? It was an accident. Yeah, that was that's what everyone says. Just look, just behave yourself. Your life's forfeit if anything happens. You understand the meaning of probation, right? I do. <sighs> okay then. Peep peep peep. What's up? Yeah, I just closed up shop. I'll be there in half an hour. What is it? Hey, what are you standing around for? Go hurry up on to bed. No, I just hired a part-timer. So this is our part-time job? Yo. Don't forget to lock the door and turn all the lights off, okay? Uh, yep, I'm leaving now. I told you, he's a part-timer. So this is our part-time job? The game did state we have a part-time job. Not expected is this dumb. Live an honest life. Yo, can I save the game right here? I don't know, we got time to kill, so might as well. We'll see where this adventure goes. I feel like exactly, maybe it's because of all that weird stuff that's been happening to me. Sleep. About time you've come to. On your feet, inmate. Our master wishes to speak with you. It's for your own sake that you take his words to heart. First off, let us celebrate our reunion. Oh, you've awakened to your powers, and special ones at that. Your rehabilitation can finally begin. There is no need to understand it all for the time being. You will be training the power of Persona, which you have awakened to. Personas are, in other words, a mask, an armor of the heart when confronting worldly matters. I have high expectations for you. There is no need to worry. You will learn when the time comes. By the by, have you come to appreciate the Metaverse Navigator? Using it will allow you to come and go between reality and palaces. I bestowed it to you as a means to train you as a thief. The Metaverse Navigator is a gift from our master. You better take care in using it, inmate. Devote yourself to your training so that you may become a fine thief. It must be disheartening to make use of the Metaverse Navigator alone. Should there be others who would prove beneficial to you, I will grant it to them as well. This is all for you to grow as a most excellent thief. <laughs> it's time. Go back and enjoy whatever rest you might have. I had another strange dream. Fate and awakening. More importantly, I need to hurry and get ready for school. Alrighty then, we're straight into school form. And we have an umbrella! Alright! Oh, what was the conductor thinking charging into the station at top speed like that? Didn't you hear? The guy totally lost it. It's been happening a lot lately. All these accidents are because people are suddenly losing their minds, right? Uh, what's going on? Well, between the economy sucking and how depressing the news always is, it's not all that surprising. Alright then. Let's do it. 
Let's see. Let's quickly save the game just in case. No, oh, how many save files does it have? All the way up to 16. What? Is it up to 16 or what? Did you see what people say? Blah blah. Going up. Well, let's see what's happened in today's episode. We've been nothing but school, and it's raining. I do not know why. This should be the area, but let's get on going. I seem to have made it to school safely. What was that castle, though? Morning. Class is starting. I'm the social studies teacher, Mr. Ushimaru. I'll be teaching you the rules of society this year. You all look like you've been spotlessly grown up. Before we learn society's rules, maybe I should start with the rules of being a decent human being. Hey, new kid. <clears throat> the Greek philosopher Plato divided the human soul into three parts. What's the answer? A soul is composed of appetite, spirit, and what else? The mind. The soul. Yo, how am I supposed to know this? The appetite's guts. The spirit has to be love, logic. <laughs> Correct. Because basically, that's what spirit equals to love. Appetite is to gut. I don't know what how I guessed it, but okay. So you knew that, huh? Plato's teacher Socrates said that evil is born from ignorance. People who's who have been babe babied taught that evil is due to individuality can only become society scum now he got it right is he really a delinquent he seems like a punk but maybe he's actually serious about studying i feel like i got a little smarter from being able to answer that question hey bonus points i don't know what that is but okay we got knowledge increase guts not quite toast Charm in offense, boom. What is this? All right. Do I actually have to answer some freaking social studies questions? Bizarre incidents have been occurring frequently. Those are but the actions of such scum. We don't need crude people like that in this school, understand? <laughs> wow, already after school. Hey! Oh, here we go. Hey there, Takamaki. You're looking for a ride home. Things have been pretty dangerous lately with all those incident accidents. Sorry, I have a photo shoot today. It's for the special summer issue, so I can't afford to miss it. Hey now, being a model is fine and dandy, but don't work your pretty little self to the bone. You're, you mentioned you weren't feeling well, right? Something about your epic... epic ditis? Epidetics? I don't know. Yes, I keep planning to go to the hospital, but I've been too busy. Sorry to worry you. You must be lonely too. I feel bad for keeping your best friend at practice so often. That's why I asked you out in the first place. Oh, and be careful around that st transfer student. He's got a criminal record, after all. If something were to happen to you... Uh. Thank you. Please excuse me. Well, how rude. To. What's up? Hey. I want to talk about the castle from yesterday. I tried telling myself it was all a dream, but I couldn't do it. I can't act like nothing happened. It's all connected to that bastard Kamoshida, after all. I want to find out what's up with that place, no matter what. And you know, you're the only person I can rely on this stuff, so are you in? Sure, what's next? Oh. Looks like I managed to talk some sense into you. I think we should try and retrace our steps from yesterday. In the meantime, you're walking to the station, right? Let's go together. Let me know if you notice any other way of biddings on the way. Ryuji doesn't seem like a bad guy. I should probably just go along with this. Okay. If a huge castle like that really exists, I'm sure we'll find it in no time. When did they build something like that, though? We walked that way from here, right? 
When you put it that way, I'm not so sure anymore. All right, this way. Let me know if you notice something. Cool. There wasn't anything out of place along the way, right? I didn't see no castle either. Ah, we must have made a wrong turn somewhere. Let's try again. Don't worry, I won't mess up this time. Let's go. For real? than we think it is? What do you think? I already did that. But I didn't see anything like it around here. Huh? Phone. Hey, that reminds me. Didn't you have a navigation app thingy on back then? I don't know if it was or not, but I heard stuff that sounded like one coming from your phone. You know, didn't it say stuff like, returned to the real world, or, or something like that? Let me see your phone for a bit. What's this eyeball looking thing? What? What a weird app. Oh, wait, this is it! I knew it! It is a navigation app! There's even your search history! Oh man, I'm such a genius! Let's try using it. Why? All we're doing is starting an app. Kamoshida. Shujin Academy. Pervert. Castle. Beginning navigation. There we go! Then we went in a certain direction and... Hey, what are you... Huh? What the hell? from yesterday we made it back that means what happened yesterday was for real too yeah those close that happened last time too huh what's with that outfit I don't get it either. What's going on here? This makes no effing sense at all! Hey! Stop making a commotion! Uh, you? The shadows started acting up, so I came here wondering what it could be. <sighs> to think you guys would come back to the entrance when you barely managed to escape. What is this place? Is it the school? That's right. But it's a castle! This castle is the school. But only to this castle's ruler. The castle's ruler? I think you called him Kamoshida? It's how his distorted heart views the school. Kamoshida? Distorted? Explain it in a way that makes sense! I shouldn't have expected a moron to get it. What did you say? <laughs> what was that? It must be the slaves captive here. For real? 
Oh shit, it's for real. We saw other guys held captive here yesterday. I'm pretty sure they're from our school. Most likely on Kamoshida's orders. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's like that every day here. What's more, you two escaped yesterday. He must have lost his temper quite a bit. That son of a bitch! Ryuji? This is bullshit! You hear me, Kamushita? Doing that isn't going to open it, you know. Still, it seems you have your reasons. Hey, Mona Mona! It's Morgana! Do you know where those voices are coming from? You want me to take you to them? Well, I guess I could guide you there. But only if he comes with us. It's settled then. For real? Thanks, man. All right, let's do this. Follow me. Now then. This is our infiltration point. Ain't that where we escaped out of last time? That's right, not barging in through the entrance is one of the basics of phantom thievery. Huh? How are we supposed to know about that stuff? I'll make sure to teach you as we go. Come on, follow me. Uh... Sorry for dragging you into all this, but I just can't forgive that bastard Kamoshida doing whatever the hell he wants. <laughs> really though, thanks for coming along. I owe you big time. Can I save the game and end the episode right here? <sighs> Man, this place is as creepy as always. Mm-hmm. Now make sure you do exactly as I say, alright? This way! Follow me. And again, it does not want me to save the goddamn game. Why? What's with this game? I don't get it. Oh well, like, comment, subscribe. Shiraka's XT.